it always have to start start from understanding a problem. So let's take an example of uh, detecting fraud. So imagine you're looking at transactions, you're looking at your credit card transactions, and you say, okay, so my problem would be I want to detect fraud. I want to find all the fraudulent um, transactions. So uh, one of the first questions that that, uh, that I might ask myself is why do I want to do this? Like this is very important because someone will have to finance this project. Someone will have to put money on the line. So I have to have a very good uh, good answer about okay why I want to achieve that. Uh, if, uh, and uh, so if, uh, I need to also understand. Uh, what's possible and what are my limitations. I may not have all the data that I would need available for me. There might be a lot of legal reasons why I can't do things that might have sense, uh, might make sense, uh, but are from legal reasons impossible to, to, to apply. So I need to understand the problem very, very well. And then I need to figure out how my solutions should work. So what's the actual solution for the prob uh, pro problem? So in this case, I'll be thinking, okay, I want to build I want to build a system that will look at every transaction and everything trans every time transaction is okay it will tell me the transaction is okay and every time the transaction is fraudulent uh, it's 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 a fraud the system will say okay it's a fraud and then I'll pass this information to someone else to take action so my system will take all the transactions in as as an input and as an output it will tell me fraud not a fraud as simple as that so understanding the problem and understanding like, what type of solution uh, sh should I build is absolutely always the number one step uh, with building any system.